You know, we in the Disney community have the ability to experience the magic on so many levels. And when we love a place so much and we experience it over and over again, we get this feeling of just magic. Magic all over, whether you're just sitting at a chair at the Grand or you're just enjoying the parks, maybe it's a Dole Whip or a ride, you can experience the magic everywhere you go. But I have noticed this trend recently and I wanted to address it just a bit. This trend to to take the experience and prioritize the thing rather than the experience itself. Let me explain a little bit. If you may have noticed this as well, and if you have, let me know. But one of the things that I find really interesting is when you do a thing, let's just take any ride. Let's take Test Track, good example, Test Track. You go on Test Track and you go by yourself. You go, you experience it, you look around, you're loving everything that is around there. You can see the track. You can see the sprayers and they're testing the cars, you're going fast and the truck almost hit you and going around the track, it's a lot of fun. And you go by yourself, you experience this, you share in it, it's fun, take pictures, it's great. And it's a lot of fun. If you do the whole thing with friends and family, same exact experience, let's pretend it's the same time of day, same temperature even, it feels like a different experience. Why? Because we shared it. And I think this is more important than ever to talk about because it's not just one or two people. It's a lot of people who have felt this way. And I've, I've spoken to friends about this, where it's like we have this tendency of, of doing a thing, experiencing it, and then ready to post it immediately. You don't have to be a content creator to, to feel this way. You can, you can be at the beach and say, all right, I've got to go and I've got to get this picture so I can post on Instagram or do this TikTok or hit that YouTube video and all of that. And we've started to prioritize the experience of sharing it with lots of people rather than being in the experience with just a couple people. And I think that's it's really important to talk about. And I've talked about it a little bit, but I just want to talk about it again because we are at the holiday season and I've had my family with me for a little while and it has been just a truly magical experience to have everyone together again. It really has. I have. We've just been smiling and laughing. I've taken very few pictures. If I have it, just like for family pictures and all that, and you're able to, to capture it so much more, so much more with these cameras, right? And, and the memory card in here, this memory card. And that's something that I, I think that needs to be reprioritized by all. It's easy to get caught up with the day-to-day. -day. What's changed, what's new, what's new, what's different. And I love sharing that. that that's not stopping, none of that's stopping. I love doing that. But I think I'm, I personally anyway, and this is, I'm just speaking to myself for a second, I'm going to prioritize the spending time with family and friends and doing all these things that I really, really love to do and in, incorporating that into sharing the magic. I don't get to spend as much time as I'd like with my family. They're located all over Maryland, California, and all over the place, sisters in town. But I think what's, uh, what's really, what I'm prioritizing here is, is spending that time with family. Right? So over the next uh, two weeks here, I'm actually going to be taking a little bit of a break just to take my own advice. I will be kind of just putting videos on pause just for a little while just so that I can really appreciate time with family. Because I love making videos, but I, I have to, I had to pick like a priority, you know, I got to prioritize that family time only here for a super limited time. And then we're all going to get back to it with a very special New Year's party. That is when the videos will make a grand return. We're going to, to do some extremely special New Year's events this year. It's going to be an unbelievable experience. There may be some live streams coming up. You never know what's going to pop up. You got to pay close attention. Make sure you're following along with us. But that's my plan, and I want to I want to do that because it's not just it's not just me wanting to kind of prioritize the family time now, but it's also a test. I, I've actually been testing it over the past few days, where I've been just really prioritizing family time and, and kind of it, I, I just, I've said this before, but like falling back in love with the Disney experience because of those who you you're with, right? We, I went to you know, the uh, after hours event. And I didn't, I didn't take a single non-family photo. I just went and enjoyed it. And I gotta tell you, my appreciation for the after hours event increased when I just focused on family time. It's easy, it's so easy, especially at Disney, especially in these times, right? With social media, we've talked about this, to, to do it for a reason that's not your own, right? To do it for some other reason. And there's, you know, there's no problem with that. And some people get a lot of enjoyment out of that. But the key is to make sure the enjoyment comes from deep within. I don't know, that, that's, that's the part that's tough to describe. So just wanted to share all those thoughts with you. Now in addition, I wanna talk about being the first to do something, and this is, this is 
so common for all of us. There, uh, with the Lion King, I love it. There's more to do than can ever be done, right? In our world, and it's not just it's not just Disney, but it's it's everything in our in our world. There's more to do than can ever be done. I had a friend who went to this amazing just convention uh, way out in a different part of the in a different part of the globe. It just looked incredible, and I saw her do this, and I was just like, that is just so cool. But for us, we we are in a, we're a totally different mindset. I'm, I'm talking to my, about myself for a minute. We're in this totally different mindset. And it's so important to. I don't know, to, I guess the, the, what I'm trying to say here is to make sure that you're not so just, just set in one thing where you are unable to see other things, right? We see that uh, Disney is opening up these trams again. Tram's a good example. The Magic Kingdom tram is something that we've really wanted back for a while. I know I'm kind of going all over the place with these examples. We've wanted it back for a while. We've been so focused on it being back. And now that it's back, it's this, oh my gosh, it's back celebration. And it's great that it's back. I, you know me, I was so, so wanting it back. I'm so glad it's back. Nothing against it. But you see, if you think about it in terms of the, the world, it, it is a smaller thing. It really, really is in the grand scheme of things. Even in the Disney grand scheme, the scheme of things. You think about uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind opening up next year. That's, it's so much of a bigger thing. And so that's why I'm saying it's easy to get kind of caught up in the, the what's happening today rather than what's happening in life, right? It goes by so quickly, so, so quickly. But being able to spend it with people that you really care about is, I think, more valuable than anything that we can experience, you know, see in one specific lifetime, right? It's, it's, the, it's the experiences that really make the magic. We talked about this before. I talked about how the Disney community is the best community in the world. Why do I say this? I say this because we value that, that family or that friend relationship. We value these things that are just so important to all of us. And, and it's easy to say, oh, you know, I'm, I have all these followers or subscribers. It's easy to do that. And I know this is, I'm just talking about myself for a minute. It's easy to say that, but it's, it's, it's more fun to say, I've got, I've got these friends and I know them and I love this and all this. And I love doing that. And I love getting, you know, I love getting mail. I love hearing from friends. I'm talking to all my friends. It's, it's just, it's, that's the part that has been the best feeling for me. And I see, it's funny, I see friends I've seen before in, in the parks that say, hey, Michael, do you remember us? We were selling you a flower and garden. It's the holidays now. I said, oh my gosh, yes. And I said, How, how's the, there's actually one specific, specific friend who was going for a job at Disney. I said, like, oh, you get that job. Like, and it was, it was funny. They were just like, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. Like, we got it. I was really happy about it. But it made me think in that moment, it's like, it's, it's about those personal interactions. It's about making those connections. More than, more than the thing. Disney is about those connections. I think that's what brought us to it originally, too. If you think about the, you know, way back when, Magic Kingdom used to do the uh, stage show in front of the uh, in front of the train station. It was amazing to welcome the day, and they have a good, you know, welcome show too. But they had the stage show, and I remember even this was like I think it was a lot of years ago. It was five years ago or something like that? Five years ago, something like that. I was in front of the train station, ready for that stage show, and there were people all around me. And I know it seems weird, but it was like you felt a, a connection with everybody around you, and there's something about that. There's something, even the opening days. Yeah, we talk about the fear of missing out. We talk about that. Opening days is a good example of this. Everyone is there and happy and ready for the excitement. That's I. Feel, it, this is Michael's opinion. I'm not trying to say anybody else has to feel this way, but my opinion is that's what it's all about. It's about being connected to others. It's about that connection we all have to others, right? If, if, if we have uh, like some, a, a good close group and we say, oh my gosh, we're gonna go have fun together. It's, it's more valuable, more valuable than, than any opening day, more valuable than any tram, more valuable than anything. And that, that to me is the Disney experience. That to me is the Disney community. So I'm doing this, I'm doing just a little break. I haven't done one of these in a long time, but I. I really do feel like it's it's a really important. I'm going to do a tiny little bit of a reset, do some brand new video ideas coming up in the future, uh, which are really exciting. I'm super excited for 2022. I hope you are too. It's going to be a great year. I can already feel it. We've got so many trips planned all over the place, <coughs> cruises, and uh, a lot of fun things coming our way. I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you, but I'm really glad to take the opportunity to spend it with family. I hope that no matter what you do, this holiday season, whether you're at Disney or just at home, you kind of take those moments and just appreciate what's important to you in life. Doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be the same things that are important to me or anyone else. It's the things that that make us happy, fun, smiling human beings. That to me is what the Disney experience is about: smiling and having fun together. That's it. That is 
that's that's it. That's the end of it. Anyway, thanks as always. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for making it possible. Thanks for being a part of it with me. It means a great deal. And I'm looking forward to sharing a magical New Year celebration with you coming real soon, 2022. See you real soon. Have a magical day and a wonderful holiday season.